Her topic, controlling your fear. Please put your hands together for Jeanette Clark. Morning, Toastmasters. Morning. Guests. Fear. Fear is a topic that's very close to my heart because I experience that every time I come up to speak, every time I think about going to Toastmasters, I feel a little bit. Here we are. Now, my experience prior to joining Toastmasters in 2007, I would present my program to clinicians, Zimmer staff, executive team, sales team. And I thought, oh, you know, I can do this. And I think the, the reason that it was comfortable is I knew my program and I knew my material, so I felt comfortable. But I remember that day back in 2007, and it was in this room, and we sat in a U-shaped area. And, you know, I was there with a friend, and they started talking about uh, the, top, the topic that day was the Matterhorn. And we got to that wonderful part of Toastmasters table topics. I might have tuned out a little bit to what was going on. And then I remember they said, Janet, as our guest, would you like to participate? Very similar to what just happened. Sure. And they asked me some question that had to do with Matterhorn. And I'll just never forget, all of a sudden, I stood and my heart raced. I had no idea what I was just talking about. And I remember I did this little rabbit dancing. I talked about the Matterhorn and I ended up with Dr. Seuss. And how, what happened in the middle? I have no idea. But I was so pleased that that 45 seconds was over. So, as I share with you today, I'm going to talk about that fear. And it automatically bring, comes, back to, comes back to me. But the things I'm going to talk about today are some of the triggers, anxiety triggers, some of the symptoms, and then some techniques to manage those. My hand -hand visual aids. So we're going to start off now with the anxiety triggers. Now some of those triggers are new and unknown situations. You know, no matter what it is, whether it's public speaking or going on a job interview, we all get nervous with the unknown, you know, we don't know how what the outcome is going to be, and we all are pretty perfectionists, so the unknown is triggers that anxiety. We have the risk of failure. I mean, who wants to fail? Nobody wants to fail, so kind of feel a little bit uneasy about that as well. Another trigger is the potential for feel, appearing foolish. Nobody wants to look funny in front of their peers, and we want to look like we're the professional and we know what we're doing. So we have that. Um, potential for being foolish. There's also the potential for boring your audience. Who wants to bore your audience? You want to make sure that you are on task, on hitting your subject, and at least your audience, you're giving your audience something. So they're taking something home. So, so those are some of the triggers. Now if we think about those triggers, and we move on to the symptoms, those are your increased heart rate. Have you ever seen somebody that you, you can feel, see their heart just bracing outside of their shirt? I just felt like I had that earlier. You know, it kind of goes away if you just learn to manage those. The butterflies, you know, you want to put those butterflies into formation, but they're, you know, that's one of the symptoms. The uncontrollable shakes. You've seen the speaker that will hold their notes, and they're like this, and then finally it's like this. You know, we've, we've all been there. There's also the lightheadedness and the dizziness. I go through that a lot, and then I get lost in what I'm going to say. So it's managing that. And then another area or symptom that I get is the dry mouth. I'll get really excited, and all of a sudden, my mouth will get really dry, and my tongue's stuck on top of my mouth, and all the guys are like, please get the poor lady some water. <laughs> those are some of the symptoms. Now, I'm going to move into managing those symptoms some uh, techniques that we can use to manage this anxiety. And the biggest one is experience. Now whether that experience is you presenting more often, there's also the experience of preparing yourself. One of the biggest things you can do and to help yourself is practice in front of the mirror. Practice in front of friends, practice in front of 
colleagues, you know, any, the more you get out there, the more you put yourself out there and practice, and the more experience you get, the easier it becomes, and the better you get at it, and the better you're able to control yourself and control those butterflies and control all those symptoms. Another area that they recommend is visualization, and this is something I like to do. And I close my eye, lay it, before I get up Tuesday mornings, I lay in bed and I close my eyes and I visualize myself from start to finish. At the, I notice myself walking down the little aisle here, wooing the audience. I just, all the words come to play. My hand gestures are great. I have no ahs and ums. I do a perfect job and the audience stands up and they're like, woohoo! <laughs> I visualize that whole thing so it makes it really nice and easy ready to do it and really put that visual, visualization into play. And finally, they have, they recommend rec uh, relaxation techniques. And this is something you can all just do while you sit there. You know, whether it's tight shoulders, move your back, you know, hold your shoulders back for 10 seconds and release. Go up, release. Put your head down, your head back, shoulders back. Shake your arms, do your arms around. <sighs> Breathing techniques, they recommend, you know, before you get here, lay on the bed, lay on the floor, put a book on your stomach so you really see yourself in the heavy diaphragm breathing. See the book go up, back down, book go up, back down. Just kind of relax. You'll notice some of our, our, our more experienced speakers, they'll start at the back of the room and as they walk up, they'll, you know, kind of run up. It's a good uh, tension releaser. Pausing before you get here in front of the group. It's just a whole bunch of different techniques you can use to just put yourself at, at ease in front of the room. So those are some of the symptoms, the triggers, the ways to manage your anxiety. <clears throat> I'd just like to kind of sum up everyone is nervous and everyone suffers from this anxiety before they speak. It's the difference between the beginning speaker and the experienced speaker is controlling those anxieties, kind of putting everything into play, and then using that anxiety as a confidence builder. So just things, you know, uh, things to keep in mind before you speak. We're all in the same boat and this is a great area to practice.